Pranada, good afternoon. My name's Carl Black and I'm the Curriculum Director for Engineering at College Cambria. I'd just like this afternoon just to give you a brief insight into what College Cambria can offer in the way of engineering courses. And to start with, I've just got a short video to show you. Your tomorrow awaits for you inside these open doors. Doors that are wide open, full of technology and experience. We won't just give you the tools, but the skills and opportunities to connect you with your potential, to connect you to your future in engineering. Innovation isn't just in the classroom, it's inside of you. Solve your biggest unsolved dreams. The next life-changing solution could be in the palm of your hands. Inspiring engineering innovations through outstanding teaching and support. Pushing you to achieve your full potential. This wide world strives for the enthusiastic engineer in you. Start the motions of your success today. We are Colleg Cambria. As you can see from the video, we offer state-of-the-art training facilities. This is also backed up by excellent tutors there to deliver up-to-date industry standards. We offer a number of engineering courses across Deeside and Bersham sites in Wrexham. These cover a range from level one up to degree level. Where you would start that journey depends on a couple of things really. The first one being GCSE grades and also previous experiences. But most importantly, I believe you need to have a keen interest in the engineering sector that you wish to go into. There are a number of ways that you can do that. You can look online, research companies, local and worldwide, to see what actually engineering is all about, with it being a massive area. To cut it down, there's main two areas really within engineering. They are electrical and mechanical routes. Now, a lot of people, when they start out in the engineering world, don't understand which way they would like to go, either electrical or mechanical. So what they will look for is a course that would combine the two. Now, this would be mainly a level one course with electrical and mechanical units in, included, or also, depending on GCSE grades, you could come straight into a level two course, um, which is a performing engineering operations programme at level two. Once you've completed them courses, they would take around one academic year. From there, you could then progress either into a mechanical route or into the electrical route, whichever way you want to go. The courses themselves are made up of a number of core units. These vary from health and safety to mechanical, to hand fitting skills, to electrical, to electronics, to computer aided design, and many, many more. Um, also, there is the apprenticeship route that you can take. The college can also offer support through links with local industry and also with a job shop that we have on site at Deeside, where we have excellent links with industries and we have employer days where you can talk to local industries and see what they offer as an apprenticeship and whichever route you want to go with that. Now, what I would like to do is if there's anybody, uh, we can take some questions through whichever social media you're on. Um, I'm not sure which ones they are, but I'm sure we can take some questions. Okay, so we have one question. What types of engineering can I study? Well, as mentioned, um, we have electrical routes and we have mechanical routes. Also included in that, we have maintenance um, and pro product engineering. So design and make components, or you could be working in the factory um, repairing 
any toolage, uh, any lathes, any milling machines and things like that. Um, what kind of work will I be expected to do? Um, I assume this is for your college course. Um, what I would suggest is the courses are pretty much split up practical and theory. So it's pretty much a 60-40 split. Most of the work will be carried out within the workshop as a practical skill. So that would just depend on the programme that you take, really. Um, and then that is all backed up by some theory work that's delivered within the classroom. Um, what are the prospects after completing the course? That's quite a difficult one, really. Um, with the current state, uh, with COVID, um, there is the apprenticeship route. Um, companies are still taking on apprentices. Uh, local companies within North Wales uh, and also locally over the border in England. Um, apprenticeships are still um, being delivered and are still quite uh, quite sought after for um, industry at the moment. Can I specialise in an engineering area? Definitely, uh, of course you can. Um, with this area, that would depend on as suggested earlier, you need a keen interest in that area, really. Um, and these can be design, uh, anything from Formula One racing uh, into design, technology, um, and also working for people like JCB, Aeronautical, Airbus, um, and, and many, many others. Um, like I say, I would recommend that you research online and go and see what, what companies can offer you as well. Uh, is the course a mix of practical or theory? Um, yes, very much a practically based course uh, until you start to actually go into um, other areas of specialism and then you'd move up into degree level, which is classroom based. Okay. Okay. So at the moment, there's no other questions. Um, if anybody thinks of any questions later on, um, then you can either contact the college through uh, email, which is studentservices at cambria.ac.uk, or you could call the college on 0300 30 007. Dioch, and thank you for your time.